So, in this class uh, we are going to look at a concept called data types. So, if we look at the previous uh, class what we did, we looked at the data sets that we have which is basically these three data sets that we have and we looked at each of the cards there and identified which of those cards uh, uh, you know had data in it which was sane, which was correct and we identified some of the cards which had incorrect elements stored in the data items right. Like for example, uh, we had uh, numbers which were too large, we had uh, category names which were wrong, we had names which were uh, not correctly written, we had uh, marks which were uh, containing extra decimal places, things like that, these are incorrect. So, uh, so, so what we observed basically that uh, each data item that we had stored in the card had a number of elements right, these elements could be numbers. It could be a sequence of characters like a string uh, which could represent a name or it could represent a item category or a word in the case of the paragraph and so on. And each of these, uh, each of these elements that are there on the card, uh, we observed basically that there are some restrictions on the values that the element can take. For example, uh, if you take the marks, uh, physics marks, chemistry marks, mathematics marks or the total marks then the marks basically has to lie between 0 and 100 right. It cannot be a negative number, it cannot be a very large number, it cannot be like 3000 or something those numbers are not valid. So, we had put a range, we said basically that the marks have to be in a range. So, let us say the marks is in the range 0 to 100. Similarly, the name cannot have funny characters like it cannot have a uh, semicolon or a uh, you know uh, asterisk mark or any of those exclamation mark. These are all not possible to have in the name. So, uh, also we saw basically that the, uh, the elements that are there in the cards, there are certain kinds of operations that we can perform on them and many operations that we cannot perform on them. For example, for marks, you can add the marks together. So, you can find the total of all the marks that is by adding one mark to another, so you can keep on adding and get a total. But it does not make sense to multiply one mark with another mark, right. What does that mean? I mean taking two marks and multiplying them does not mean anything at all. So, multiplication does not make sense at all for marks. Similarly, if you take names, you can take two names and compare the names. You can see whether one name is the same as another name okay? and that could be a very simple operation. You can just check whether all the characters are the same or it could be slightly more involved as we saw in the last class where you know and same name could be written in two different ways. You could write the first name and then the second name or you could write the last name first and then the first name second or you could just write the initial instead of the last name and then the comparison can basically check for all these conditions. So, but you know there are some operations that do not make sense for names. For example, it does not make any sense to add one name with another right, addition does not make sense for names. So, uh, for every data element, it looks like there is some valid set of values that that element can take which could be a range or as discrete set of values and uh, there are certain operations that are allowed for that data element and certain operations that are not allowed for that element. So, the in, in computer science in programming, this basically is represented using the concept of a data type. Okay, so, this leads us to this concept of data type. So, what happens in a data type basically is that you data types allow us to tell the computer or maybe another person how we intend to use that data element. So, what range of values that we are allowed, we are allowing that element to take and what operations we want to do with that element, right. So, you are telling the computer you are giving the telling the computer the constraints under which you are going to use that particular data element. So, when we specify that a variable that we are going to use, remember that a variable is something that we use to store intermediate values. When you say specify that a variable is of a specific type or a data type, what we are saying basically is that we want the computer, if you are telling the computer, we want the computer to check that the values that are being assigned to this variable are within the permitted range of values that we have specified in the data type and the operations that we are performing on it are also only those which are permitted. So, non permitted operations if they are found the computer should basically reject that particular operation right. So, that is what we expect from uh, the data type. So, data type basically is a way to ensure some kind of sanity of the data in a more formal way all right. So, let us look at some basic data types that we have already seen in our in our data sets. The first data, si data, data type that we did not actually see in our uh, cards, but we used when we were doing our flow chart and so on 
is the boolean data type if you recall the boolean data type is something where there are only two values for this boolean data type true and false what kind of operations can you perform on the boolean data type you could basically take two boolean data types boolean values and you could check whether both of them are true for example you want to check whether or not a card is gender is male as well as whether the date of birth is within a certain range both of those conditions evaluate to a boolean value and you can check whether both are true by using a and operation so you can do an and operation or you can do an or operation or could there could be other operations like could you could do a not operation and so on right these are the kind of operations that you can do on boolean data types the second data type that we saw in our cards is the integer data type now if you recall from our class in mathematics integer basically is something that can take zero or it can take positive number values or it could take negative number values so the numbers can be anything any negative number minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 like that or 0 or 1 2 3 and it can go on like that 4 5 6 and so on so any range of values which is basically in this negative numbers 0 or positive numbers list all right now what kind of operations can we do on integers we know from our school mathematics that what we can do with integers is we can add the integers to each other they produce integers you can subtract integers from each other they will also produce integers you can multiply one integer with another that also produces an integer or you could divide integers this one is a little tricky because when you divide one integer with another it is not very clear how to do that right because if the first integer is say 21 and the second integer is say 7 right then dividing 21 by 7 means something because you can 21 indeed is divisible by 7 and the result is 3 so 21 by 7 equal to 3 makes sense but if you have a number like 22 uh, and you have the second number is 7 then 22 divided by 7 it is 7 does not 22 is not divisible by 7 or 7 does not go in 22 right it is not a factor so if that is the case then you do not know what to do so you need uh, either you have to say that the division operation is not allowed in such a case or you have to say basically that let us redefine division that when we divide 22 by 7 we take only the quotient which means that the when you do 22 by 7 you get the quotient 3 and you get the remainder 1 right so ignore the remainder and keep only the quotient that is another way of doing it okay so if you define it like this which is in terms of quotient then uh, even the division is defined now for integers for all integers and so now you can have all the four operations plus minus multiplication and division for integers okay uh, the other kind of operations that we saw that we used actually for for integers basically is comparison so we compared one integer with another to see whether it is lesser than or greater than for example we compared one date with another date right we compared one mark with another mark and so on so you can compare the marks or dates or things like that so you can check whether one is less than the other one is greater than the other and whether one is equal to the other so comparison and as we all know that comparison basically of any numbers generates true or false value so the comparison result type is boolean right so any operation basically can take a single variable or can take can take single value or two values so in the case of comparison or addition or multiplication we are taking two values and performing the operation and the result can be in the case of comparison it turns out to be boolean result in the case of addition and so on it turns out to be a integer result okay so the third data type that we have seen in our cards is the character data set okay we not really seen the character itself we only saw the character as a, something that was present in the words like we saw that some words were ending with full stop for example so full stop is a character right but the character data set is something where basically the values that are allowed are the alphanumeric the standard alphanumeric values that is a to a b c d and so on up to z which could be capital letters or it could be small letters or numerals that is 0 1 2 to 9 right so the a to z in capitals or small along with the numerals 0 to 9 this set of characters are called the alpha numeric characters besides alpha numeric characters we can also use special characters like for example you can use full stop comma semicolon colon asterisk symbol that is star or sla uh, division slash and percentage and so on okay these are the special characters so the character data set basically or data type is the set of all the alphanumeric characters and the special characters all of them together are the characters okay those are the values valid values that the character data type can take what operations are possible in characters in our 
uh, in our uh, data set what we looked at so far, we only use the equal to operation. We wanted to check whether a, char a given character in a word basically is uh, full stop for example, right. So, we wanted to check whether the word ends with full stop. So, the last character of the word whether that is a full stop or not, okay. So, that means that we are checking for equality, right and the result of equality as we know is Boolean. So, a single operation or equality is all we needed for our data set so far, we did not use any other operation. 